Hi, how you doing? My name is Locke. I'm from 2MCCTV.com and this is video 2 on how to set up your GeoVision system on remote viewing. The first step we're going to do is we're going to find the model number of our router. Second step would be configure your router and third step is checking if the ports are open. Now from video 1, a quick recap from video 1, the one thing we did was find the IP address of the GeoVision system, uh, find the IP address of your router, and find out what ports that we need to open. Um, the main emphasis is going to be is, do you have the IP address to your GeoVision system and your router's IP? And that's the two main things that you need. So, my GeoVision IP address was uh, the IP address to my GeoVision system was 192.168.0.135, and my router's IP was .1. Yours is going to be different, so don't freak out if it's if it doesn't match this up with mine. So let's go ahead and go to step one. Step one is pretty simple. We need to find the model number and who makes our router, the manufacturer of our router. You could just basically do that by going up to your router and just you know do a little bit, with a little bit of investigation, look around and look at the model number and you know basically the brand that's on it. Mine is going to be the Linksys EA4500. So once you figure that out, we're going to use a website called portforward.com. And portforward.com basically explains how to port forward a certain router. So it's pretty in depth and it's catered around to what router that you have. So I'm going to go to portforward.com. And then what we're going to do is we're going to, sorry about the slow computer by the way, it takes a little bit to load. I'm going to click on routers, I'm going to go ahead and click on port forward and guide. And we should have a list of manufacturers. I'm going to choose my manufacturer which is Linksys. Linksys, here we go. Then it's going to give me another list, and this is going to be our model number. So I have the EA4500. So do the same for yours. Um, you know, just choose the manufacturer and choose what model number is your router. And now it gives us a list of applications. We're going to scroll down all the way to the G's, and we're going to find GeoVision. And we're going to click on GeoVision Webcam. So now we're just going to basically follow the steps and I'm just going to do this. I'm going to do this just to give you an example. Right here it tells you to do not skip, but as you can see the IP address is not going to always match to yours either. Like this one says 192.168.1 then you know it tells you to put in the last number of that IP address, but mine is actually 192.168.0.1. So I'm just going to go ahead and ignore this. But on step one, it basically tells me to log into my router. And you could do that by typing the router's IP address to your web browser. And on video one, we you know, we found out what's the router's IP address by opening the command prompt. So I'm type that in. It's going to ask me for my username and password. If you don't have your username and password for your router, I would talk to your network administrator. If you don't have one, then you can call the manufacturer and they'll give you the default username and password. So when I logged in, I'm just going to go ahead and keep on reading uh, on what port the steps that are on portfor.com. So it tells me to click on application gaming. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Then it tells me to fill in, it gives me an example on uh, how I should have everything filled in. So it says, and these are the ports that you need to open up. So just go ahead and take a look at this. This is custom catered to the GeoVision system. So go ahead and just do all this. So just fo just follow on what it does. So I did mine earlier, and as you can see, I did DVR. I named it DVR. I'll put 8080. Then I'll put the IP address, and I enable it. And again. Yours, your router is going to be different, so it's not going to be the same as mine. But the main point I want to make is just read through what portforward.com has laid out, and you should be good to go. I mean, it's really simple.
So after you've done all the port forward and setting on portforward.com, we're going to go to a website called canyouseeme.org. Now on canyouseeme.org, it gives us our external IP address. Go ahead and write down this external IP address. This is the IP address that you're going to type in when you're outside your network. So let's say I, I set this system up at home and you know I go out of town or something like that. I would use my external IP address to view my cameras. But we're going to, once we wrote that down, we're going to check if our ports are open. So what you're going to do is the list of port that you open, the list of port numbers that you open, write that down and just go ahead type it in one by one and click check your port. So I'm going to type in 8080. I'm going to click check your port. And as you can see, it says success. I can see your service on you know, the IP address and it gives you the port 8080. So you would do this for all the ports that you open for a GeoVision system. And after you're done with that, you can start viewing your system remotely. Thanks for, thanks for checking out this video. And that's basically a wrap up on how, how to view your, well, how to set up remote viewing on your GeoVision system. Make sure you check out our other videos on our YouTube channel and visit our website at www.2mcctv.com.